brainstorming for analyses and hypotheses is a fun and sometimes frustrating part of data science. Coming up with new ideas requires experience and creativity and also guidance and feedback and collaboration. Let's see how ChatGPT can help us with this. So here I have some text that I have pasted into the ChatGPT chat box. I have a data set from a bike share company. The data features include day of the week, rental time, duration, and so on. So I'm giving ChatGPT some information about uh, the data set. I'm telling uh, ChatGPT the features that are included in the data set. And I'm saying that there is a lot of data over 10,000 observations. And then I'm simply asking, what are some analyses that I could perform on these data? So I'm not specifying any hypotheses. I'm not saying, what is the goal? What is the thing that we are looking for in the data? Instead, I'm just asking for a list of possible things to do with these data sets. Okay, so we get back a list of eight possible analyses that we can perform on these data. And I'm going to ask it a little bit more about point two, uh, time-based analyses or time series analysis, and basically ask ChatGPT for a little bit more detail and to specify some possible hypotheses that we could test. So I'm going to write that I am interested in uh, option number two. Can you please, uh, I'll say, suggest some hypotheses that could be tested with a time-based analysis. Okay, so now ChatGPT is going to state some hypotheses based on my interest in uh, these uh, time series analysis. Okay, so this is a really interesting reply because first of all, it demonstrates that ChatGPT understands the difference between a an analysis and an hypothesis. So here, ChatGPT is very clearly stating hypotheses, and it's also suggesting analysis approaches to test each individual hypothesis. So it's giving us a list of seven hypotheses. Overall, it's quite impressive. And it says at the end that the results of these analyses can help reveal insights about bike rental patterns, which can be useful for a bike sharing company in making data-driven decisions and improvements. All very nice. This is a good example of using ChatGPT to help us refine the way that we are thinking about doing data science. To be honest, I have some mixed feelings about this use of ChatGPT. As a scientist, I believe that the best, highest quality, and most insightful research comes from first having a set of strong hypotheses and then figuring out the appropriate analysis to test those hypotheses. But here, I actually showed you the opposite. We started with analyses, just a laundry list of possible analyses to do, without any clear motivation or goal for doing any of those analyses. But, uh, you know, reality is often softer than what your grumpy old staff professor tells you to do. And anyway, you can also gain um, insights into a data set from, you know, just kind of random, open-minded data mining without having any clear goal. But, okay, let's try it the other way. Let's say we have a strong hypothesis, but we don't know the right analysis to perform. This is actually a pretty common scenario, and I've gotten countless questions like this as a professor and as a teacher, where someone says, this is my hypothesis, this is my data set, can you please help me uh, figure out the right analyses to do to test this hypothesis. So let's see if we can do this with ChatGPT. Again, here I have some text that I've already written and I'm just pasting in here so you don't have to watch me typing the whole thing out. In the bike share data set I described earlier, I'd like to test two hypotheses. One, that older people rent bikes more often when it's sunny and uh, more rainy uh, during the week, but sunny the weekend and so on. Can you please suggest a data analysis approach to test these hypotheses? Not surprisingly, ChatGPT is able to give us a set of possible analyses, including data preparation steps, in order to test this hypothesis. So it's suggesting to create um, 
groups to bin uh, people into different groups according to their age, um, filter the data to select only the sunny days, and so on, including uh, visualizations. Now, it's not including any information about statistical analyses that I could perform, so inferential statistics, but uh, let's see if it does that here. Okay. Oh, actually, no, I, I stand corrected. It does uh, give information about statistical analyses. It just uh, presented that in a separate section here. Uh, let's see here. It says use a chi-square test. Okay, that seems fine. Yeah, so without reading this in too much detail, um, I think ChatGPT's suggestions here seem pretty legit. Now, of course, from here, you know that we could dig even deeper. We could continue interacting with ChatGPT ask for uh, potential confounds in the research that we might want to look out for. Uh, we could ask ChatGPT for Python code to help us implement these analyses and so on. But I am going to stop it here. So there you go. You can use ChatGPT to help you brainstorm about the kinds of analyses you can perform with or without an hypothesis. Now, this kind of brainstorming is really commonly done with colleagues and with supervisors. And I think AI can help facilitate here. On the other hand, brainstorming with a whiteboard and drawing things can really help with creativity. And I'm not sure I'd recommend using only text and only ChatGPT to do data science brainstorming the way that I showed it here. But I would definitely recommend incorporating ChatGPT as a tool to help you and your colleagues when you are brainstorming about analyses and data sets.